So today I'd like to share with you um, a new update about Eric Games Launcher um, that's just been uh, out I think a few hours ago. So Eric Games Launcher, if you're not familiar with um, this piece of software, is actually an unofficial client for the EB Game Store. And the new update, uh, since 2.1 if I'm not mistaken, um, is introducing for the first time a gamepad controlled uh, interface. So that you can see right now, um, I have the mouse here but I'm actually controlling the interface directly with the gamepad. And this is a, a very good uh, development because this will enable um, the installation and usage of uh, the Epic Games Launcher directly uh, on the Steam Deck, hopefully uh, in, in a very uh, seamless manner because you won't have to use keyboard or, or, or the mouse controls even though they are available to actually uh, do anything uh, about that. So, um, and, and it works pretty well. Um, I think it's maybe some tweaking needs to be uh, added to the controls because right now when you're moving left to right it kind of stops at the every icon uh, which makes sense whenever you want to, to change the options but it doesn't make sense when you want to switch uh, from one game to another. Uh, so um, maybe it's, it will be improved uh, later on but it still works very well and you can see I can just launch a game like that uh, using the A button on my uh, keyboard, I mean my controller. And you will see now it launches the game as expected. And since the game typically uh, also recognizes controller, uh, you don't have to use a uh, keyboard um, anytime at all. So you can see here I'm using controller as well. Um, I'm playing uh, a short hike. It's a very quick game. interface. Um, you can also uh, use the Y button uh, to change the, uh, the settings uh, or go into the, the tools, requirement, and information and so on like that. Um, and uh, you can also control most of the settings through the interface so uh, it's not limited to the navigation for uh, playing the game. You can also use it for uh, actually modifying the wine options and so on. So, um, as you can see, it's fairly uh, practical if you want to modify the, with the Proton version you're using or so on. Um, last but not least, uh, it does not work for um, the Epic Game Store interface. So, if you go in the store interface, uh, since this is now a web page, this is not something you can control directly. So, unfortunately, but you know, I guess it's probably going to be a difficult problem to solve. Uh, you won't be able to um, go and pick up your free games directly using the gamepad. You will have to use a mouse uh, or use a different uh, machine if you want to do that. But you know, since it's mostly focused on uh, maybe running your games uh, with the gamepad, uh, and especially for the Steam Deck release, this may not be a very big issue. That's it. So that's just something I wanted to show you today. So as you can see, it works uh, fairly well. Um, and uh, I hope uh, you try out Hurry Game Launcher if you haven't tried it yet. It's a very uh, well designed, uh, unofficial client for the Epic Games uh, Store. Thanks and talk to you later.